because Let's go for it. That this cable is just frozen right through the middle of it. It's not gonna break that high up, is it? No way! <laughs> I got that on video. Well, hello, you beautiful YouTube community out there. You guys look good today. Here we are, back to vlogging. I have no rhyme or reason for this week's vlog because I was coaching at Apple Valley. I didn't have a place to train all the time. I didn't know if I could film at Apple Valley. I was filming at the U. I'm going to Tarantino this vlog and put it in all sorts of random weird. Please subscribe. Uh, share these with your friends. There's not going to be any order to this. We're going to see how it goes. It's just going to be random. Here we go. I've been coaching high school track at Apple Valley High School, which has been phenomenal. So I've been getting my workouts in there. I didn't know if I could be filming with a bunch of high school kids around or not. I'll start filming my workouts there. So I got three or four workouts in there, an acceleration day, uh, speed endurance day, and I lifted weights there all after I got done coaching. So I'll show you guys that in the future. Uh, yeah, and I'm still getting once a week at the U of M. Right after the U.S. Champs, I had a vault practice, and it went terrible. Um, I just couldn't get on these poles, and things weren't working. I couldn't figure out why. Terrible vault practice. And it kind of like hung on my shoulders till the next week where I had another vault practice at the U and that went terrible as well. Thing now. That was a terrible ball practice. I left that day frustrated. For uh, four days I was pretty upset with myself. So then they said I had an opportunity to jump that Saturday and I came back and jumped on Saturday trying to jump from six. I probably took one out of every three jumps up. It was just another bad day. And then I, I labeled it as a bad day. I was like, this is a bad day. This is terrible. This is just not good. And I just kept pounding myself deeper until I had the weight of the world on my shoulders. It beat me up mentally. On Tuesday, I went in and I thought, all right, I'm just gonna keep trying to experiment. I'm gonna experiment with trying to get this to work, and if I experiment, you really can't go wrong, because if you're experimenting, you're finding out what works or doesn't work, which is always a good day. So I, and when I put less pressure on my left arm during the invert, like I didn't try and force it in like this, my hand didn't go like this and then cross my body and I do this crazy thing. But if I thought more right and just let my hand kind of be there, then my body turned naturally and I was able to come off the pole and actually extend off the top. And it worked so good. found the way I, that is successful for me to looking at the pole vault and I looked at it like that 
And you know what? I had the best day I've had in a long time. So yeah, I had a good day on uh, Tuesday. Jumped uh, 490 a couple times and got on a 15, 15 2 flex from four lefts. It's the biggest pull I've ever been on from four, and that thing was fun. But I got on it at the end of practice, so I only got about four good jumps on it until my body was like, You're tired. Go home. It's hard sometimes. I struggle too, just like I'm getting a lot of comments from you guys. How are you so mentally strong? I like to think I am, but at the same time, I slipped too. I, I slipped. I had three weeks where I was like, God, pole vault's just not fun. Maybe this isn't my event. What am I doing? I'm not doing anything with my life. I'm throwing all this energy into pole vault and it's still not working. And I just got this negative, heavy feeling. And then I went back to doing some of the stuff I was doing before, like meditating and reading um, some sports psych books, learning about people who look at the world a different way. And it helped. It helped so much. I'm back and I'm feeling good again. I'm super optimistic and I'm pumped to be vaulting again. For everyone out there, everybody slips. You gotta, you gotta stick with what works, and what works is being positive. After that, it waits at the U. Ran out of chalk today. Sidewalk chalk? Or I strangled Smurf. Yeah, they don't have everything that I have at the high school, but um, I have been making it work. That's what I have to do. <laughs> I don't have any other options. My brother Scott, the, my brother with all the guns, he uh, came back home yesterday. He had some, uh, like a little bomb that you can buy at like hunting places. And our idea was to blow up a doghouse with his little sniper rifle gun thing. So, you blow up the doghouse? Yeah. This is sketchy. Why? A little bit. Why? Is it? It's not going to be that big. Okay. Oh, there's a river back there. <laughs> oh, shit. You gotta put it out there. No, look at my shoes. Let me just shoot. Ew, they're already wet. <laughs> well, my shoes are already wet, so I'll go out. My feet are cold. This is a bomb, right? <laughs> Where'd you get it? From a store. We're gonna, what are we gonna do? I don't wanna talk to you. <laughs> what are we gonna do? I don't like this. What are we gonna do? We're gonna blow up the doghouse. Freaking cold, man. Is that enough? Get it a little bit farther. Mm. <laughs> All right. Fun kick. Shoot! Got it. That was awesome. <laughs> we, needed, we needed a bigger one. <laughs> no, let's go build a bigger one. No. No. Dad liked it. I hope there wasn't a dog. <laughs> there isn't any more. He blew the f out of that dog house. Make sure it's tight against your shoulder on like Thanksgiving. Hi, I made a bed! <laughs> 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 it was pretty fun. I got my first piece of like of mail for making these vlogs. This vaulter from Dublin. People in Dublin are watching these vlogs. That was just my mom. Brendan Doyle from Dublin, Ireland, sent me this shirt. From the 2002 I Ireland bobsled team, which I think you laugh, because it's so random and weird and awesome, so that was sweet. And then uh, I got this note that said, Tigger says f it. <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny, but it is. Oh, and then he sent me this little doodad. So this is sweet. So I'm gonna be able to get sweet shots now. We're connecting it to all sorts of stuff to get upside down shots and sideways shots and inside shots and outside shots and shots and shots and shots and shots and shots. Thanks, Brandon. Since it is Easter, I went to go work out on Friday, but everything was closed. Hastings was closed, Apple Valley was closed, so I didn't have a place to work out. So we showed up and they said it was gonna be open, but it was closed. 
so frustrating. I made the best of the situation. Last week I went training in 95 degree weather outside, training in 44 degree weather outside. It's not as fun. <laughs> Again, not having a consistent place to train is making me do this. It'll be good. Okay, last fall I uh, marked this hill all the way up to 100 meters by every 10 meters. So there's my start. One's up there a little bit. I don't know if this is illegal or not. Anyways, I just used car paint to date all winter, so I'm sure it's gonna stay there forever. I don't have a lot of money to buy shoes. I don't really want to run in this stream. So I'm gonna run on the street, but I had to mark my workout area. So to do that, I took some garbage <laughs> that was in the car. I hope to dear God I don't get hit by a car. This Walter from Dublin sent me the shirt. Thank God I wore it, because I didn't think I was going to be outside. So anyway, here's my start mark, because I didn't have any more garbage in the car. There's a snowball. Start at the snowball, so run to the 20 green trash, run to the 40 green trash. This goes to show there are a lot of ways to work out. You just have to work the energy systems. So we're working the anaerobic energy system today. Oh, on top of that, I'm going to be wearing a, a weight vest for the half of it. Even smaller must mean I'm almost done. Snowball's gone. Must mean the workout's over. Time to go home. 10 by 20 meters, 10 by 40 meters. Went fantastic. Feel good. I think I finally did an anaerobic energy system workout correctly. Cause I don't feel like I wanna throw up. Last thing I'll throw in here is Carrie's roommate has a boxer named Rampage. He kind of freaked us out, but he doesn't Rampage. He's just kind of dumb. He's just kind of a dumb boxer. I'm sorry if you have a boxer, but they're not the smartest breed of dog, but they are super fun. He chases lasers like crazy. Like, He's over here, and he's over there, and he's over there, and he's over there. He's just everywhere. chases lasers and he doesn't know how to stop <laughs> and he will go until he throws up. Kind of reminds me of somebody I know. At least he's not on a treadmill. And then he chases balloons too so he threw up a balloon and he found out that he just chases and jumps and jumps and chases balloons all over the place. We decided to stop with the laser after Carrie ran him through a hallway and he would run up these two stairs and jump up oh, and run back and then run to the stairs and, boop, 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 and then go back. But at one point, he ran up the stairs and his feet slipped. Oh, God! He smashed into the wall so hard, he belly flopped it. Looked at me, and then he was like, Do you have the laser? Where's the laser? The laser up there? Where's the laser? Where's the laser? Oh, God! <laughs> he hit so hard! He belly flopped the wall. <laughs> Both hands just... I think he's done. He, it looked like it hurt. That's all I can say about that. Again, thanks to everyone for watching. Please subscribe. Uh, share these with your friends. Thanks again. We're almost at 400 subscribers. That's crazy to me. Some of the new ones, like I said, that make me laugh. We got Super Yummy Pancake. <laughs> XX Love Machine. Big Teriyaki. <laughs> Trevor Dong. I don't know if that's your real name or if that's supposed to be funny. Trevor Dong. Sweet. And uh, Spirit of Chaos. Awesome. See you next week. No, let's go build a bigger one. No. No.